My name is Nana Sato Rosberg. I came to SOAS about four years ago to teach Transition Studies. Translation is negotiation with the original, whatever that form it takes. Translation is also to find a way to convey in words the spirit of the original. But how to interpret the original is in the hands of the translator. In the past two years at SOAS, I've learned there's a lot of ways to think about translation, more in fact than I could have ever imagined. And I've learned that we all think about translation in very different ways. What, you know, sort of the translation community, industry, whatever you want to call it in this country, really needs is exactly what SOAS has. And that this kind of project and all of Nana's ideas to kind of bridge those communities that weren't really talking to each other previously will be absolutely, you know, beneficial to both sides. So I think it's great that the uh, Centre of Translation Studies is providing a platform and sort of um, creating a space where people can engage with translation and where people from outside of SOAS can get in touch. I think it can be quite hard as a beginner to get into um, translation and mm -hmm. having a few translation professionally under your belt is a good thing. Honestly, I would have had any opportunity right now, yeah. uh, but I'm particularly interested in works that have made an impact because that's this, the spirit of SOAS, making an impact, changing the world. That uh, can sound really naive, mm -hmm. but I think that's the most um, inspiring thing here. I think, especially after coming here today and meeting Anana and meeting so many people from the, the team, it's great to see the enthusiasm of young people who really want to apply their skills to meaningful projects that they also feel strongly about. So I think in, in that sense it's potentially different than working with a regular translation agency where you ship this off to someone anonymous and you don't necessarily know, you know if they have a particular interest in it. And you know, I think ultimately the people who who work as translators or interpreters, if they care about the job that they're doing, mm -hmm. the issues that they're dealing with, then by definition they'll go that little bit further to mm -hmm. make sure that if they really translate this thing appropriately, any specific questions that they're gonna you know they're gonna ask because they, they care. I am a SOAS alumni. I studied here for an MA and a PhD and it was kind of the making of me. Mm -hmm. I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, with myself and um, certainly not career-wise before mm. I came here and it was because I graduated at the time of the financial mm. crisis there weren't really that many graduate jobs around anymore mm. and I needed a skill mm. and a language is a skill yeah. and particularly the languages that SOAS specialize in you know, it's a very niche skill it's a skill that really sets you apart mm. and Everything that I've sort of done subsequently with translation and publishing is about sort of filling in those gaps, yeah. paying attention to what's not currently yet being paid attention to. And I've seen in the last couple of years, finally, I think in this country, people are waking up to the need for translation.